サントリーのシングルモルトウイスキー山崎55年が17日ニューヨークで競売にかけられ60万ドルおよそ8100万円で落札されました2020年に1本330万円の価格で100本が限定販売されました Hello everyone This is 葉山の簡単カタカナ英会話 This time I'd like to forecast Japanese whiskey in the world 日本のウイスキーってすごいんですね。えー、先日あのニュースにもなっていましたが、えー、また値上がるということなんですけれども、私あのウイスキーお酒関係弱くて全然知らないんですね。えー、2020年に先ほどの動画でもわかるんですけど、330万円で売られていたものが8100万円になるってこれすごい投資ですよね。で調べてみたらウイスキー投資ってあるんですね<笑>、えー、ここ1週間ずっとアマゾンであの山崎とか白州とか響きをチェックしていましたであのびっくりするのはやっぱり今山崎25年ものでも100万以上してるんですよねで先ほど調べたんですけどあと残り3本ですあと残り1本ですっていうふうにアマゾンでは出ていましたもちろん楽天でもやっています同じ商品でも楽天とアマゾンではちょっと値段が違ったりします、えー、出店者は同じなのかもしれませんけどそのサイトサイトで値段が違うのかもしれませんねあのオークション驚くことにメルカリではあの空き箱も売られているんですねで他の動画とか検索とかをしていると偽物も出,は出回っているということなんですね。でどうして機敏や空き箱が売られているかというと詰め替えて売るっていう手口もあるらしいんですね。これはチェックしないといけませんね。酒屋さん巡りをしたりとかしたんですけれどお酒のことわからないので聞きにくいんですけど私が言ったあのまあここの辺りで一番古い酒屋さんでも、えー、山崎の18年もの、まあ、希少品みたいなこと書いてあったんですけどあのストックが1本もありませんでした時々入ってくるみたいなことはおっしゃっていました。という具合でやはり酒屋さんから買うのが一番安全かなとは思いますこのウイスキーってすっごい奥が深いんですね。であのうんちくがすごいってあのワインの,あのソムリエさんのような方がいらっしゃるんですねその最初の味と残った後味が全然違うもちろんイギリスはスコッチウイスキーの国などであのその辺の,あの、えー、方もチェックしたんですけれどもやっぱり皆さんうんちくがすごすぎて私にはついていけない今日はほんのその中の一部ですけれども。あとで2つのお店を<笑>あのここすごい店主の方がものすごいウイスキーのことならお任せみたいなそういうお店が載っていたのでそこと銀座の方のここはもう銀座だから立地条件があのまあ立地条件なのですごい一本一本やっぱりお高いんじゃないかなともあのこれはもうバーテンダーさんが選んでらっしゃるそ,のそういうお店を見つけました角瓶ありますよねサントリーの角瓶<笑>こんな私でも一応チェックしたんですねチェックしたって言ってもドン・キホーテとかそのさっき言ったあの、まあ、老舗の酒屋さんとかあとはイオンとかいろいろチェックしたんですけど一番安かったのがドン・キホーテの1400円でした、えー、せ各便でも1400円するんですねやはりあのハイボールにするにはこれが一番ポピュラーなのかなと思っています韓国での流行り方もちょっとお見せしようと思います Please watch and enjoy You know I like whiskey, and my favorite is Japanese whiskey, which we're gonna drink today. So I thought we'd start 
with the Japanese type whiskey. It's personally my favorite. Probably a little, little biased because I, I love Japan. Uh, okay, so left side we have uh, yeah the Suntory whiskey. Never mind. There you go. And right side we have the Nik. Actually, this doesn't belong. We have the Nika Nika whiskey. Those are the two big distilleries or uh, companies rather. Sorry, in Japan, Suntory and Nika. They're all very different, but the first one ever made was the Yamazaki and I have a 12 year old one which is uh, very nice and then we have an 18 year old one which I've never even tried before I've never had 18 year old aged whiskey so I'm really excited oh Suntory you may have heard of from the um, the movie Lost in Translation when Bill Murray is on the he's doing the commercial and he's like for relaxing time make it Suntory time so I, was, I thought we'd start with Yamazaki because it's the oldest of oldest. It's from 1923 it started. So it's, it's the oldest, I think it's the oldest distillery in Japan. I'm curious if I will tell, tell a difference between the 12 year and 18. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> it's gonna be nice, girl. We're gonna, we have a lot of stuff to try, so let's just... That's very nice. It's got a taste to it. Very, very beautiful. How nice from very nice to very nice? I will give it seven very nices. We have the 18 years. Let's just get the big guns out right away. Ski. No, oh, it smells. It's beautiful. You can definitely tell a difference. Much smoother taste, you can really feel it more. It's just a beautiful whiskey. Very nice. The next one that came out was the Hibiki. This is not aged whiskey. It's sort of cheap and I think it's a blend as well. A meticulous blend of the finest whiskey. But Hibiki is very good. I think a lot, if you know Japanese whiskey, you'll definitely know. It's uh, the, the aftertaste. It's sort of a taste that hits you when you have it in your mouth and then there's a taste when you swallow. And it's so much more superior in this one compared to the Hibiki. Even though the taste of the mall is actually quite similar. Kushu, aged in the forest. Hence the green uh, bottle and all that shit. Third Hakushu. Hakushu. Beautiful. Love the bottle, isn't it beautiful? It's very, it's got a very light color to it. This is the last one of the Suntory. Whoa. That flavor is so different. I really like the Hakushu. I think I'll get an aged one of that next time. This isn't aged. You, you're not hit by that taste afterwards the same way that I like. This is very nice. I give this one seven very nices. Eight very nices. Seven very nices. This is a six very nice. Now we're moving on to the Nika. We finished. I have a little, a little bit left of this one. Yochi was the first one they made. So Nika was made by the legendary whiskey Japanese maker Takeshuru, what's his name? Maseraka Taketsuru. So this guy was like, I wanna make whiskey. So he went to Scotland to, to study it and then he's met, he met his main bitch Rita and then who was also studying uh, making whiskey. And then they went back to Japan and he joined the Santori team and he's like, nah, fuck you guys, I'm gonna make my own brand. So he made Nika. And the first one they did was Yochi, 1934. So Santori is older, but Ni I think Nika is, it's, it's cooler. The, the same thing they did in Scotland, the same condition. They have, it it's only made on the island, like the Southern Island, I think, which is just as big as Scotland by the coast. They wanted it to be as authentic to Scot Scotch as possible. And Scotch is literally just whiskey, but it's made in uh, Scotland. Uh, Ooh, is that the difference? It's just the location? Yeah, but it has to be that just to be called a Scotch. It probably won't taste good because I left too much air in this bottle. You shouldn't do that. Yeah, I got nothing in here. <laughs> well, it was good. I finished it. <laughs> Welcome to I'll Monetize My Alcoholism. 
Yochi gets eight and a half very nices. Damn, it bites your tongue. Very nice. Eight and a half. I would almost say it's better than this one. Oh, how much is that? And this is a cheap one. It's not aged. The other one I have is the Nika Coffee Malt, which if you like whiskey, I recommend you try it out. It's very different. It's not coffee. It's named after the cre uh, one of the investors or something like that. If I remember correctly, it, oh, it smells beautiful. I think it smells so nice. I don't know if I even can tell them apart at this point. <laughs> They're all so good. <laughs> I'll give it seven, very nice. It gets, it gets a strong seven, very nice. So this is a blend. Single malt, single malt, single malt, single malt. So it's made from the same. What about that one? Which one, this one? This is a blend. Single malt didn't used to be very popular. When they started these, it wasn't really a thing. But now it's like, if you want a good whiskey, you probably want a single malt. I think. I, there's a lot of great blends as well, don't get, don't get me wrong. Uh, which actually brings me to the final, which is the Tugochi, which I couldn't find any information about. It's sort of a mysterious bottle. Uh, they actually don't have their own distillery. They, they don't... Whoa! Is this 18 years? I don't even know! So I have had 18 years age. You'll see it has a... Canadian writing on it, that's because they import from Scotland and Canada whiskey and then they masterfully blend it into the Togochi. It's very... I'm so glad I didn't finish this bottle. It, this one grew on me. I didn't really love it in the beginning, but then, okay. Yeah, it just has this weird... It tastes like nature. It's really good. It's so different from any of these. Like these, I, could, I couldn't really probably tell apart, to be honest. This one definitely has a unique, I can't believe it's 18 years. I had no idea. え、ここで一つ伝説にもなろうとするあの、イチローというえ、ウィスキー。なんですが、これは人気の背景にあるのがウイスキーを使ったハイボールです。よじゅん、私たちの年代はハイボールを好みます。ソジュより。Thank you for watching. いかがだったでしょうか。お酒のことに関しますと来年4月1日の分から 
サントリーが値上げするというのを発表しています響きなんか税別16万円なのが20万円アップの36万円になるという報道もされています20万円も上がるなんてちょっと信じられませんよねどうなってるのかな原材料とか輸送量の問題らしいですけれどもこれは困りますよね健康面でもアルコールの摂取の仕方国の方で指針を出したようですけれども皆さん体に気をつけながらお酒はたしなんでくださいではまた I see you later bye